Let's speak of another rebound, this beautiful one. The monarch butterfly population appears to be taking off again. You might remember the monarchs were on the brink of extinction in California just a couple of years ago. Well, Brian Hackney looks at what's behind their comeback and how the recent storms have impacted their survival. I think monarchs are just kind of perfect. Monarchs are like living stained glass. They're as beautiful as flowers or as lovely as rainbows. And they're also so different from other butterflies. Monarch butterflies just soar and it's just such a beautiful sight. But a sight that completely disappeared. And what was Butterfly Town without a single monarch butterfly? This is Natalie Johnston. She watches Monarch numbers and wrangles the volunteers who count them at the nearby Monarch Sanctuary. How big is this? This sanctuary is about uh, two acres large. This is like an Airbnb for butterflies. I think so, yes. They cluster in these trees by the thousands. Yes, uh, the last we counted, there was over 8,000 Monarch butterflies in this one tree. But they used to number in the millions until they went right down to zero in 2020. One of the main factors is uh, development. Then there's uh, pesticide use, and then there's the effects of climate change that are affecting all species. There's a female coming in now. Art Shapiro of UC Davis has been counting butterflies for 45 years. The question is whether they will manage to survive given the very rapid change we're seeing now and the extent to which we've modified the landscape. Some landscape modifications are actually helping. This is our newest restoration. 600 acres of milkweed were planted last year. If you break off part of the leaves. At eight critical monarch sites. Is this the only tree where they clustered here? Oh, no, not at all. I also saw a lot more interest in helping to protect these monarchs. And so far, so good? I think so. That's because the early indications looked good. The numbers are going up. From a low of zero, the numbers had a surprising rebound two years ago. And the count ending in December showed more monarchs then than there had been in 20 years. But remember the end of December? It rained so much that the numbers went down by 58% since then, more than the usual seasonal 43% decline. But it's still much better than the none at all of 2020. So overall, you must be breathing a sigh of relief. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when we saw our first cluster uh, last year, I think we started crying because we were not sure if it would fall back down to 2020 levels or if we could have as many as 2021. So being able to see them and watch their numbers grow has just been so wonderful. And everyone's hoping for a cluster of good news next autumn. We'll check back. Brian will follow that. Thanks, Brian. There have been efforts at both the state and federal level to protect the monarchs. California proposed new restrictions on a class of insecticides that can harm the butterflies. And last summer, the feds announced $1 million in grants for Western monarch conservation.